Aloha and welcome to another Roland MC707 tutorial. I am Unit E and in this video I'm going to show you how to grab a loop from a looper track, throw it onto your sample recorder and chop it up onto pads for your drum track. I do this with vocal samples, you could do it with whatever you would like, any kind of loop, but at least when you play it back in the looper it is going to play it at the tempo of the project. Now, depending on how far off your original loop tempo is, sometimes it can sound uh, not quite right, so this might not work for you. But I'm not worried so much about tempo, I just really want to get it to play out so I can grab that sample and slice it up among the pads. I'll show you my quick way of doing it. After a couple of times of doing it yourself, you'll find out how easy it is and uh, the muscle memory comes pretty quickly. I have on clip 5 for track 8, I have a vocal sample. Funk, so, rock and roll. Don't stop till it hits the soul. So we're going to take that and we're going to break that vocal across the pad so we can play with it some more. And you could do this with whatever you like. Everything else is over here, but we're going to put it on the drum track I have on number 7 on clip 1. So we'll hit that. I always make sure to get my record length up to 8 always. I can always go back if I need to and chop it in half if I'm finalizing, but this is just to get something in there. I'd rather have my 8. You can hit your measure to the right if you're blinking to get all 8. From there, I'm ready to go. I don't need to do anything else on that right now. The next thing I can do is press note. This will let me bring up my pads in the 16 different spots I can put my samples. I'm just going to run it right across the top row. So with it playing, Funk, so, rock and roll. I'm going to press shift and then press record. This will bring up sampling recorder. I have my trigger set to negative 24 just so when it gets a signal it can start recording. I have my sources track 8 because that's where the loop is. And I can hit enter to standby and I can wait for that signal to come in. So let's go ahead and hit it. Funk, so, rock and roll. Don't stop till it hits the soul. Funk, so. You gotta hit enter again to stop the capture. I get a little bit after. I can always adjust the end point if I want to keep a loop of this. I'm going to chop it across, so I just quickly grab that end point, bring it all the way up to my first part. I know this is my first word. You can minimize it to there, hit your bump, funk. Bump, 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 I usually like to get bump, very little of the next bump, word in there because if you hit them after each other, sounds good, or if they're, you got some decay to go on it. Bump. Anyway, I've captured that little bit. All I have to do in this where I'm at, track 7 selected, note pad mode, is hit that pad. I want funk right there. Hit enter. Now it's there. Bump. Okay. Now I could quickly just take the start and end knob both together and just move them to the next spot. So, 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 uh, so. so. Hit that next one, hit enter. Once it's loaded. So, bump, so. There we go. I know my next one is this next bunch right here. Just quickly get a tiny. Rocket, 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 rock and roll. Maybe I want rock, rock and, roll. and roll to be one. Yeah. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. I like that. We'll put that on the third one. Enter. Pump, so, rock and roll. Pump, so, rock and roll. Okay, we got our three. Get up to our next ones real quick. Don't. This should be don't, right? Put that right here. That'll be our next one. Let's move our next spot. Quickly. Oop. Stop. Put that right there. Don't stop. Alright. This rest was, we could just listen to it. And we can zoom in if we want to get to the end there. We know we're almost there, so that's good for me. We'll put that right there. Now we can back out of this. 
exit out of our sample because we just need to grab it for those chops unless you want to keep your full loop sometimes that can be a good one okay that should be if you get right up to the next you know, zoom in on your end point you can get right up there as you can see right up to where it should repeat again anyway depending on what you want for accuracy you can get in there sounds good to me so for that I might put all the way here on the end right there now I have it chopped and on the last one is the complete loop in time because it was recorded from a looper track so it is in the tempo of your project so if I start playing something I could turn this down now right because this is what it used to be <laughs> with some kicks that was your looper track looper tracks only do have 60 seconds so you want to minimize the amount of use I can dump that now if I want to I have a copy of it on a pad on a drum track I can now do add some effects to this and you can go back and if you need to fine tune any of the samples within the pads themselves adjusting start and end points uh, as you move along into your sound design we're not going to get into that here I just wanted to show you how to quickly chop those across don't use the position and the slice function that goes in there unless it is a very beat driven loop that you are trying to chop and put across here if it is something more melodic or a vocal use those two start and end points quickly together find your areas with some quick turns it does move a lot quicker I hope this has been useful if you thought so go ahead and give it a thumbs up so you can spread the word about it hit that uh, notification if you like what I'm doing and if you want to keep following what I'm doing go ahead and ring the bell and as always Thanks for watching.